fellow floss tubers is Patty here with my end of October update. So I hope you had a great October. I sure did. So sit back and relax. Grab your beverage of choice. Water. Your craft of choice and let's chat. Yeah. October was fun. I'm kind of glad it's over because I am ready to stitch on other things besides Halloween starts. So yeah. I'm done with those. <clears throat> so let's get on with it one other thing these are not in any particular order except for the last two they're the ones that are probably going to be restarted because I don't like the fabric or I don't like or I don't like um, I want to change it up a little bit so anyway let's just go I started the Halloween kitty by Chatelaine. I purchased the kit from European Cross Stitch and I dyed the fabric myself. Oops. So here is where I got on that. So cute. I'm really happy with it. I'll bring it in. That black floss for the cat yucky stuff it is a rayon and it is not nice to stitch with and I really think I'm going to run out before I get to the others because the cats are that and then the lanterns around the outside are those as well and I don't think I'm going to have enough so I'm going to have to figure out something else for that one and then I had a severe case of FOMO fear of missing out which is crazy I know uh, I try not to do that because I don't want all the floss tubes to look the same like we're all doing the same things I like to be a little bit different but I really for some reason this one just called to me it's a way we ride by blackbird designs so it's uh, a way we ride till it's darkest pitch to find the home of the wicked witch and I purchased this from 123 Stitch with all the called for colors except for Garden Gate and Onyx. And let me tell you, this is Garden Gate and Onyx. The outsides, the birds, everything. So I have it back ordered on everything cross stitch and I really hope that it comes. I really do because I don't want to have to use black and a different color. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I am stitching this on 36 count. You would think I already remember this. Wren. 36 Wren Edinburgh, Edinburgh by Picture This Plus. And that's where I got for the two days I stitched on it. I, uh, I really want to stitch on this, but I want, need Garden Gate and Onyx. So it's getting put away for a while. All of the Halloween ones, except for um, this one, Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow, are going away for a while. So I went, got back onto Halloween of Hawk Run Hollow and finished all the green on the outside and started the casket. This is 40 Count um, Heritage by Picture This Plus. And I'm really happy with that. So I am working on the bottom block right there. So yeah, I really do enjoy this. And this one is stitched one thread over two with the DMC colors. And then I grabbed Skeleton Crew again by the Cross-Eyed Cricket in the Cricut Collection. Oh, sorry for the glare. There we go. So, and I'm using um, DMC and color and cotton that I pulled from my stash. And I'm enjoying how that's turning out. And this is 32 count Mocha Lugana by Picture This Plus. So I had the top sail, and then I just worked on the ghost. And 
I didn't work on that one too much after that first round. Just a little bit, not too much. Okay. And if you're curious, yes, this is Friday, and no, I do not have little man today. He stayed home because he and his mommy were not feeling well. Then I decided to work on uh, Halloween Quaker by Lila Studios on 40 Count Murky Newcastle by Picture This Plus. I have the call for fabric and the call for floss. So I added this one and then the spiders and the pumpkin and the start of the Happy Halloween at the bottom there. So I really enjoy this one. This one is a lot of fun. So this is one one over uh, two. And I'm very happy with this one. So this one might be like the 13th dark stitching on the 13th. And then the Halloween at Huckrun Hollow may be the 31st. If there's a 31st in the month. All right. Then I worked on the 18th. The Trick or Treat Fairy by Nora Corbett. You can get this out of Hirschner's, Hirschner's magazine or Hirschner's online for I think $1.99 or $3.99, something like that. And I am using, um, where is it? Doo, doo, doo. Uh, I've got a couple of pictures of this plus or uh, trick or treats on my list here. I think I stuck it. No, this is 32 count Zweigart from Zweigart. Uh, oh, Witchelt. I'm sorry, it's 32 count Witchelt. So there's the top of her dress. I didn't get much done on this. Um, I think I'm starting to get kind of burnt out on Maris. I know, sacrilege, right? But I think I am because I was going to do a Mirvember and I have changed my mind on that. I am not doing a Mirvember. I'm doing a whatever I want to stitch for November because yeah, that's how I'm feeling. So the last two I have to show you are the two that I am very, very, very undecided about. Um, I went back onto Etsy and I picked up the different uh, Star Wars Sugar Skulls. I picked up the different ones and this was by stitchline.etsy.com and I'll hold it way back here so you really can't see it but it's the one without the big roses so I like those better which is what I should have purchased the first time but I didn't. I don't know why I did that. So this is 28 count Opal Crystal Mystic and I am working on the Stormtrooper first. And I'm not sure that I like it. Um, it's hard to stitch. It's hard to see for me. Even with the magnifier, it's hard to see. So I'm thinking that sometime next year I will get a 36 count or a 32 count and get these smaller and, and not use the dark fabric. But I'm not sure. So this, these, I have all three in here. And I only started the Stormtrooper, so I might just go ahead and restart that. Which I probably will. Now I'm sitting here thinking, yeah, I'm just going to restart those. So. On a different fabric. And then I have... Oops. Um, the Book of Spells by the Good Housewife. Huswife. And I really like this. I think it's very cute. But I think I like only this section the best. And then I can see like this a pillow and this a pillow, but not that a pillow. So I hand dyed this fabric myself using um, food coloring again. And that's where I started. And, and this is 22 count hardanger, one over two. 
or one over one. So, yeah. And I pulled my own colors. So that's what I have for the colors. So I'm thinking that I might pull out pull out the top of the book here and just make one side that and the other side the other and make it into a pillow. Or just or I could just pull that completely out, the center spine, smash them together. That's not a bad idea. And maybe put by the pricking of my thumbs something wicked this way comes on the top. Maybe that's what I'll do. I may have to play with this a while. So I will do that. I will figure this out. So that is all that I worked on the last part of October. So my dark October stitching is done. Yay. So I got my color and cotton floss in. So I'll just show you guys. And if you want to know what the colors are, post down below and I will tell you. Here's those. There we go. And then the richer, darker colors here. The lighting is much better in here because I actually have light bulbs in there. I only have, it was down to one and there's room for three up there. Yeah. So November, November, like I said before, I was going to do a mirror start with the six that I have ready to go and I said forget it. So this is the 18th. So this is, who is this one? This is the mirror that's getting started in November. So this is Moonflowers. So I will be working on Moonflowers. On 32 count milk chocolate. So it's just a... This must be from Witchell. It's really hard. It seems like milk chocolate was called for, but... Oh yeah, I got milk chocolate, so I got the fabric that was called for it as well. Um, I started the Chatelaine back there, so you will see that next time. And let's see. Oh, in on my stitch from stash, I blew it. I had a budget of $51.05. That was the carryover plus the 25. I had $16 in finishes, the two little pillows, and I bought so much stuff. I purchased $75 worth of stuff. Oops! Which left me an $8.05 deficit. So going into November, I have a $8.50 deficit. I've already purchased a pattern, which I will show next time, and some other flosses and stuff. So yeah, not fun at all. And there is no 31st in November this time. And the Christmas stitching, I have not been doing at all. On the 25th, it's just been going by me, so I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm going to do. About that. So, with 14 minutes and 4 seconds, I guess it's time for me to go. So, I hope that whatever you craft, you craft it with your heart's content. And I will see you guys in a week or two. Bye.